for the first time in his life, he's got no plan. He's checkmated by his sister. He is angry. He's broken, sad. I'm sad's not the word. I mean, um, and yeah, I mean, and, and, and I think with this guy, when he doesn't have a plan, it's just boiling anger. And that's dangerous. I mean, he is a killer. He is a, he does have this in him. So I, 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 I think he's more dangerous than he may appear to be only because he's so broken. We're all going to prison. You know, it is the eighth wonder of the world. You aren't already there. What type of fan reactions are you getting these days? Are people feeling a little sympathetic for, <laughs> for your character? Or are they like, oh no, we are Team Beth all the way. I get both. I get yeah. a lot of both. This is just the beginning. It's really interesting. People are torn on Jamie, but often torn within themselves. You know, they both hate him and they love him. Yeah. To the point where people yell out at grocery stores that they hate me, no, they <laughs> but they're do. smiling. I mean, they're, they're laughing. I hate you so much. Yeah. Uh -uh. yeah, it's always questions about you know they're worried about me whether I'm okay. <laughs> you know, like there's a bit of therapy in my <laughs> fan interactions these days because it just makes sure I'm gonna survive it. <laughs> oh my gosh, do people? Because y'all live like on location while you're shooting this, in a sense, right? Yes. Do you get, feel like you get more fan interactions there or mm -hmm. back in your in your hometown where you yeah. live with your family? Full -time? I live in LA and yeah, I get a little less there, although I get, you know, I get more nods and oh, I love your show and things like that. But in, you know, anywhere else in the country I go, it's a, it's a passionate discussion about, you know, the show and about the state of people. And so my, you know, definitely in Montana, they, de they feel even closer than anyone else. So it's, um, it's like they're talking to a friend or something or they know they you know from town, right? Yeah. 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 Which is, I, like I said, I, I do love that. It's, uh, it means they really are invested. Wes Bentley's character, Jamie, is the adopted black sheep of the Dutton family with a laundry list of secrets. He not only took Beth to get an abortion as a teen, but he also has a secret son, murdered his biological father, and is now at war with his sister, who is blackmailing him. I want to believe that you're advising what's best for the family I do. But then I remember, this isn't your family. Jamie just like had quite the arc last season. Things did not end well for him. Are you hoping Jamie can turn things around in season five? Well, I guess I always hope Jamie can turn things <laughs> around so I'm not so sad myself, but yeah. <laughs> um, it's an interesting place where he's at. Yes, please, 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 please. Yeah, I feel like the switch is about to flip. Might be. Might be. It's gonna have a table toss a <laughs> moment. It's just gonna go bananas. But how's, I mean, at the same time, that's kind of got to be a fun character to play too, right? Oh, I, yeah. I, I mean, this is sort of the dream I have, at least as an actor, is I want it to be as complicated as it can be, as uh, explore many emotions. Uh, and Jamie is complicated. And I love playing that. It's hard. It's really hard in my normal life. I'd say. But it's rewarding as an actor because that, that like I said, those are the things I'm, I'm looking for. I like mm -hmm. that complicated kind of character. Do you know where all the bodies are buried? Yeah, because I buried them. In your off time, are you trying to do fun, like really fun <laughs> out there things? Because things can get heavy on the set of Yellowstone. Yes, and not enough, I think. I think I really? sit and stew in it a lot. Yeah, it's, I think at this point, five years in, Jamie's got more of the floor than Wes does, as uh -oh. we say. Yeah, so it takes a minute to go home and my kids see Wes instead of Jamie yeah. for a bit. And, you know, that makes them sad too, because Jamie's a sad guy. But, um, but uh, you know, it's it's hard to go off and do things like that. I don't want to distract from it too much because I like locking in on it. I'm gonna kill you. Think hard about what you're saying, Beth. You're threatening a state official. The drama returns to the Paramount Network Sunday with Kevin Costner's character taking his seat in the governor's office. Signing this order is a declaration of war. We're already at war. So what does this mean for your political career? It means there is no political career, I yeah. think, in Jamie's perspective, because that the one thing he was going to be for the family, the one thing he wanted to be out of all of this arrangement that John had forced upon him, was that hopefully one day he would be governor mm -hmm. and uh, he would have his own power and his own place in life and outside the Duttons. And yeah, that's uh, that's a crushing blow as well as you know, killing his own father. This is two things at once that. Um, he realizes now that they, he will only ever be that for them. Mm -hmm. It's only He's only ever what they want him to be and what they need him to be, to the point where they'll force him to kill one of his only, his only family members. His only member. family, yeah. It is my great honor to introduce you to my choice as the next governor of Montana. 
John Dutton. That same uh, season four when you're walking down the stairs thinking that former governor is going to endorse you. It mm -hmm. was like, ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what an awkward moment mm -hmm. for Jamie. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, these little, it's like those little things little chipping pokes. away. Season we see Miss Lainey Wilson, country yeah. music artist, mm -hmm. tossed into the mix. So, mm -hmm. what was it like having this just genuine human being added to the cast? Unfortunately, I didn't get to work with her, so I what? didn't get to meet her. And yet. I was hoping y'all could have had a jam <laughs> session. You, Luke, Lainey. No, I, I mean, you know, in Jamie's world is very isolating, get, only getting more so. So I, I don't get to meet these cool people. Dang. I mean, I met, I met my own cool people who right. no one else gets to meet too. But um, uh, she. What I understand, she's really nice, and I'm very, I'm thrilled she's doing it, and yeah. I love her music, so um, I'm, glad, I'm glad she's a part of it. I'm just window shopping. Oh, so no interest in the dance? None. I, I fortunately got to work with another new cast member named Don Olivieri, who um, plays Sarah Atwood from Market Equities, and okay. she comes on, and we have, I have some great scenes with her, and she's an amazing actress, uh, brings some really unpredictable stuff, and so, um, I was excited to work with her. This family! I love it when she gets mad. It means I'm gonna make a lot of money. Taylor Sheridan needs no help. He just knows how to do it. He knocks it out of the park every single time, but how much does he include you all in the conversations about character development, his long-term vision? Uh, does he keep it under wraps, or does he let you in on a little bit of it? He does a bit of both. He yeah. Does, I think he gives us... For me, I don't need to know a whole lot if, if Jamie doesn't know it himself. Um, although I didn't know what the conflict between Beth and he were. I didn't know about the abortion. Mm -hmm. um, I had a feeling it was something like that until we got closer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he, he will also share with me things that um, uh, that's coming down the road a bit so I can start to put little things, you know, I like to throw little things into scenes that might head develop my character in a way that you can see him heading that way. Right, instead of just like, oh, wow, twist. Yeah. Like, Unless that's needed, but yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's great, it's great communication with Taylor, for sure. I have yet to stop fighting for this family. I was the reason that there was no investigation into the murders at the ranch. Do you ever have the opportunity to give your input on your character development? You know, I, I, I would be afraid to. I'm not a writer. Seriously? So yeah, you know, I, I do it through the acting. So I, I you know, he, he writes the scene, and, my, and, and then I get up there on the, and do it. And in the doing it, I guess I'm putting my imprint of my own, because yeah. I'm filling all around the words and, and under the words and whatever else I can do to fill it out and, and add something else to it. That, but the, you don't need to add much to his writing. He's already got it there. I am trying to protect him and the ranch. They will fight you. They will fight you dirty. Is there any other way? Mm -hmm.